And while I was in Canada, I, well, my children were quite young, and I used to watch children's television with them. Um, you know, every, day, every morning they would do the children's program and I'd sit down and I'd think, but I, I'm sure I could do something like that. I could be a presenter of a children's program. And I got quite interested in the whole educational aspect of, of children's television. So when I came back to Jamaica, I decided I was going to look for a job in a television station. And I applied to JBC, but because I had music qualifications, they had a job going as the head of the record library to deal with all the music that is being played on the station. And so they said, would you be interested in that job? And I said, yes, I'd love to. So I came in not knowing anything about what records to pull. And, you know, there was Winston Williams is one announcer and there was all sorts of other people. And the, what happened was they had to come into the record library, they had to choose records, and then they had to fill up forms because in terms of copyright, Every single singer and composer who writes a song has to get paid a residual co commission every time they're played anywhere in the world. So this opened me up to the whole issue of copyright and the fact that a lot of our young musicians in Jamaica do not know how to write music, which they have to write down their tune, if they are to get residuals eventually right through until they die. So I got involved in that and was, found it very interesting and worked at JBC for about three or four years. While I was there, Mr. Whitliffe Bennett, who was the general manager at the time, knew that I had done elocution and various other things years ago when I was younger, he remembered me. And he said, would you be interested in reading the news for us in, at the 10 o'clock news at night? It's just like a little freelancing extra. You get extra pay for that. So I said, oh yeah, that sounds good. I can read. So um, I did that and loved it. And so I, when I left JBC, I had this inkling to go and study communications. And Carrie Mack was at the University of the West Indies. So um, a little later on, I, was, I went, after I left JBC, I went to Excelsior as head of the music department, did a year or two there. And then I decided I'd take study leave and go to university and do my communications and social sciences, and I did that and I loved it and stayed in communications for a long time. I'd gotten tired of the whole music teaching and dealing with all these children and their parents who want them to be maestros, but you know, some of them don't have any talent. So <laughs> I decided, well, let me go do communications because I loved it. So I did that, and, um, and then at some point later on, when my marriage failed, I decided I was going back to England. So I went back to England for a few years and got remarried and got into working at the um, independent television news and also working as press officer at the Jamaica High Commission in London. So my whole communications career took over at that point. So I really had two careers, one music in the first part of my life and the second part of my life I'm in communications and PR thoroughly enjoyed it. So that's, that's basically my career as it has stood. I've, I've done quite a lot of other things while I was in England. In the second thing, um, the government asked me to sit on the Commission for Racial Equality because at that time I was CEO or Chief Executive Officer of The Voice newspaper, which is a black newspaper in England. And so I did that for about four years. And quite a few people got to know me. I used to go around the country speaking on behalf all about race relations and the whole thing on all of that. And so um, that has that introduced me to equality issues, sexual equality issues, race relations, and also expanded my communication and knowledge of media management because in order to manage a newspaper. You had to know all about the different aspects of the newspaper, advertising, everything, and you had to be able to go out there and look for advertising and, you know, manage the newspaper and all the finances that go with it. So that, that took me to a different level in terms of my communication and media knowledge, and I thoroughly enjoyed it.